Hi there. Now, I'll take you through this question, which is based on finding probability from a normal distribution. So if you've read the question, what we've got to do first of all is to define a random variable. And I'm just going to say let x be the random variable in the usual way, just put RV for short. And it's going to represent the height of a female. So I do recommend that you do define the random variable. So we've got height of female. And this random variable x is going to be distributed normally. So we'll say x is distributed normally. There's two parameters. The first parameter is the mean, which is 160. And the second parameter is the variance or standard deviation squared. So I'm going to write 8 squared. It's up to you though. You could write 64 there, of course. Then what I'm going to do is sketch the two distributions. That is the distribution for the random variable x, which we know is normally distributed. So it's going to look, say, something like this. It's only a rough sketch meant to be symmetrical about this line here. There's a mean of 160. And directly below this, I always draw in the standardized normal distribution given by Z. Okay. And again, put a central line down here. The mean is zero. And we have the standardized normal distribution looking, say something like that. Okay. And what we've got to do then is find the probability that a randomly selected female has a height greater than 170 centimetres. So I'll just put 170 here. OK, so there's 170. And this is our observed value, which we call little x, which is 170. And I would project down from here onto my standardised normal curve and this value here is little z. And we've got to work out then the probability of being greater than 170, which is given by this area here, which will be exactly the same as this area here. Now, we work out the value of z, knowing that any value of z is given by the observed value minus the mean, mu, all divided by sigma. And applying that here, we can see that this value of z would be equal to the observed value, 170, minus the mean, which is 160. And that's all divided by the standard deviation sigma, which is 8. And if you work this out, this is 1.25. And remember that the 1.25 is saying that the observed value of 170 is 1.25 or 1 and a quarter standard deviations above the mean. So using this fact then, we can work out the probability of x being greater than 170. So let's put therefore the probability that x is greater than 170 is exactly the same as working out the probability that z is greater than 1.25 standard deviations above the mean. Now to work out the probability of z is greater than 1.25, you can either use your calculator if you've got a calculator that does statistical calculations like this, or you've got to use tables. So if you're using tables, then you've got to see this generally as the whole area, which is going to be 1, minus the probability of z being less than 1.25. And if you look this probability up in your tables, you should find you get 0 0.89435. And subtracting that then from 1 gives you 0 0.10565. And if we round this to three significant figures, it's 0 0.106 to 3 SF, three sig figs. OK, so I hope that's given you an idea then how to attack this particular problem. OK.